So the time is finally up and the first live Olympic weightlifting international competition is back. For those of you that are new, my name is Will and welcome to Sipia Lifting Club. So the European Championships literally couldn't have come at a better time for this new channel built for you Olympic weightlifting followers and what better way to kick things off than with a battle in the women's 64 kilo category between Britain's Sarah Davies and Romania's Laura Danatoma. So looking at the lineup, obviously Laura Danatoma, the hot favourite, listed 100 kilos to start with. Obviously we know this can differ. Um, but I'll, what I'm also going to be keeping my on, eye on is um, Russia's Anastasia Anzarova and Lisa Schweizer for Germany, who might actually still be in contention with Sarah Davis, particularly in the snatch. As you can also see from the European Records Board, Laura Danatoma has taken all three um, in the senior and almost all three in the under 23s as well. You can see there 113 kilo snatch. So we're hope hopefully we're going to be seeing something similar to that uh, today. The clean and jerk, she might suffer a little a little more. Uh, she she got 136, I believe, in Roma last year in the weightlifting World Cup. Uh, but she I feel like she does struggle in a clean and jerk um, in comparison to those across the globe uh, in China, like Deng Wei, who has like 145 or something kilo clean and jerk. Um, so it'll be good to see the battle in the clean and jerk between Laura Danatoma and Sarah Davies. Now you can make up your own mind of what you think of Laura Danatoma and the Romanian weightlifting team with Laura Dana, um already being done for doping in the past um, and the Romanian team I think being banned from the Olympics this year. Obviously I'm a huge supporter of anti-doping and the support of weightlifting and I respect Sarah Davis as an athlete so much um, and I do think it's unfair when there's uh, clean athletes competing against um, athletes that might be doping. But what I will say is it, it's a pleasure to watch Lodana uh, actually lift. Her technique is so proficient and amazing. I do enjoy watching her weight lift and I would say she is in my top three of female lifters. Obviously it sucks for her to be um, done for doping in the past uh, I hope she's not carrying that on any further or if it affects her in the present day. So I'm not going to go into too much of that in this video. Uh, so let's just crack on with the battle between these two. And let's start with the snatches. I was actually really interested and in actually looking forward to seeing Sarah lift in this competition. I was looking forward to seeing her uh, put up some big numbers in this. I've been watching her training on Instagram. Um, I can see how much gain she's had over this year or so. I really like Sarah, I think she's a true athlete and she's a true inspiration for athletes and younger weightlifters in the UK and even any sport really. So Sarah steps up first with an open attempt of 96 kilos. Uh, I believe uh, this is what she actually snatched in the final attempt in the 2020 World Cup. So you can clearly see there how much progress she's made over that one year and how much training she's done in between. clean lift makes it look easy um, I'm sure it wasn't but there we go <laughs> that's how good she is so Sarah steps up for a second attempt 98 kilos um, Laura Donatoma yet to even come on the platform yet uh, just before this Anastasia Anzarova and Lisa Schweizer both snatched 97 kilos who I previously spoke about at the very start um, so they're still very much in contention for a medal um, with the snatch you know what I like about Sarah is that she like paces back and forth before she lifts and goes to snatch the weight. It's almost like a lion like pacing about ready for battle and she's really visualising that lift and I don't know, something about it just hits different. <laughs> so Sarah makes her second attempt of 98 kilos, perfect lift again, uh, makes it look easy, I'm sure it wasn't. Um, so now it's time for Lord Anatoma to make her first attempt, 101 kilos. So Laura Danatoma finally hits the stage, uh, listed 101 kilos starting weight to snatch. Makes that look perfectly easy, stupidly easy really. Uh, perfect technique, technically proficient, just what you'd expect from previous world champion and European champion. So Sarah matched this, um, her final attempt in the snatch, 101 kilos. For those of you that don't know, if you 
share the same weight in the snatch or the cleaning jerk. Um, that doesn't make both lifters first place and share a gold medal. The person that does that lift after the first lifter, so in Sarah's case, she would become second place because she did it after Laura Darnatoma. So that technically secures silver medal for Sarah Davies in the snatch because Anastasia Anzarova and Lisa Schweitzer both snatched 100 kilos. So Sarah went a kilo up uh, to secure that second place. Now this is really where Laura Darnatoma starts to shine in the snatch. Um, second attempt, 107 kilos. Relatively high big jump up from 101 kilos. Uh, but again, makes it look so easy. And again, with a final lift in the snatch, 114 kilos. Seven kilo jump up from the second attempt and makes that look perfect as well. Um, now that's just incredible, that jump. It's crazy how dominant she is in the snatch, particularly in Europe. Um, there's, there's no one even catching her. Like I said at the start, the, the, the battle wasn't really in the snatch. Um, it's going to be quite hard for Sarah Davies to catch up to lower down in the snatch, uh, but hopefully she can claw some weight back in the clean and jerk. So looking at the scores after the snatch, clear winner there, lower down Atoma, gold medal, European champion in the snatch, 114 kilos, absolute domination. Second place, Sarah Davies, highly respected, uh, 101 kilos. I believe that's actually her PB, um, so that's great for her. Uh, third and fourth place, 100 kilos for the Russian and the German. Um, so yeah, pr pretty pretty expected leaderboard, I would, I would say, um, coming out of the snatch. But I'm very happy for Sarah to equal her PB there in the snatch. Um, all three perfect lifts, all white lights. So that's what we like to see. So I'd just like to reinforce how crazy those jumps were for Laura Danatoma in the, uh, the snatch. Those seven kilo jumps, just phenomenal. Um, you can truly see uh, her global dominance really in the in Olympic weightlifting in that category. Um, obviously she's competing with Deng Wei up in the world championships. So it was pretty predictable that she was gonna do pretty well in the snatch. Um, I just hoped it wasn't gonna be too much of a lead going into the clean and jerk uh, because Laura Danatoma can actually suffer in a clean and jerk. So in 2019, in the World Championships, she only managed to clean and jerk 128 kilos. And Sarah's PB clean and jerk is actually 129. So I'm looking forward to see what happens in the clean and jerk. I feel like it might be quite a good battle. Um, but I was just hoping that there wasn't going to be too much of a gap between the two movements. Um, because it's, it's going to be hard for Sarah to claw those weights back, uh, unless obviously lower down a bombs out or something like that. So moving on to the cleaning jerks, uh, everyone actually finished their lifts. The only three lifters left uh, were Anastasia Anzarova, Sarah Davies and lower down Toma. So Sarah steps up, makes that lift look perfect. Uh, I know she's done a lot of work with her jerks. Um, so that, that's good to see that she's made a solid, li solid lift there. So Anzarova's second lift was also 122 kilos, but because she was second in line, uh, that makes her third place in the clean and jerk so far. Lordana steps up, uh, her first lift in the clean and jerk, 123 kilos. Uh, she makes that look perfect as well. Uh, you can see in her jerk, it's slightly different to any other lifters. She has like a delayed front foot. Um, when I jerk, if I slow down my, it, my movement, uh, when I watch it back after I recorded it, I noticed that the front foot does have a delayed slam at, um, compared to the back foot, but she makes it look really noticeable without even slowing it down. Um, I believe that having a delayed front foot does allow you to focus on really getting that front foot out, um, but I'm not too sure why Laudana actually has such a slow front foot. Um, maybe that's what's preventing her from going any further in the clean and jerk and really competing with Deng Wei in the World Championships. But there we go, uh, clean lift, 123 kilos in the bag, onto the next lift. But what I like to see here is the competition within the competition, where the coaches are writing down what the next weight will be for that lifter. Um, so there's a bit of a game there between them. So you can see here that the Team GB coaches are sticking up 
126 kilos for Sarah in the clean and jerk. Um, so Anzarova needs to beat Sarah by two kilos to get second place, silver medal overall in the competition. So her coaches then have to go up to 128 kilos and she'd have to make that to get silver. So they're going to be watching anxiously now, hope, hope, hoping for Sarah to miss the next lift. So Sarah steps up again, performs a solid clean and jerk, 126 kilos. She made that five out of five lifts. So now the Russian has to uh, lift 128 kilos. There you can see the coaches aren't very happy that Sarah's made that. Um, so the Russian steps up now, uh, doesn't manage to lift 128 kilos. It was a big ask going from 122 to 128, but she was really going for that silver medal. So Sarah's secured second place there, at least uh, in the clean and jerk as well. What I'd like to zone in on here is how well Sarah did to actually manage to jerk that second attempt. Um, how long she has that bar resting on the front of her delts. If any of you have done weightlifting before and you have that bar, a heavy clean and jerk attempt, and you're waiting that long to jerk it, the blood's rushing to your head, you're struggling to breathe. I know Sarah's had a um, one occasion on stage where she's she might have blacked out for a moment. I think it was her anyway. I, think, I swear I've seen a video of her like having to drop the bar because her head goes a bit funny. But you can see here that she powers through it, managed to jerk it, a very strong jerk as well. Probably the best jerk she made out of the three lifts. But that was amazing. I think that there is the best lift in the competition so far for me, and definitely in this weight category for sure. Just shows there how much of a warrior Sarah really is. She's a true inspiration, true weightlifter right there, true champion. So Sarah actually steps up now for a final attempt in the clean and jerk, 129 kilos. This would be a equal PB again in the clean and jerk this time. It makes that look absolutely amazing. Considering that's an equal PB and at 64 kilo body weight as well, I feel like she, I think she said she was a bit heavier um, when she previously did it, 129 kilos. Um, so that there is amazing. Well done, Sarah. You can see the emotion on her face, how much this means to her, you know, silver medal at the European Championships. Absolutely insane. Now here comes the champion stepping up for a second attempt in the clean jerk. Uh, see if she can secure a gold medal in this as well. Solid lift again. Obviously, you can see how delayed that front foot is. It's crazy how she can actually manage the lift like that. But you know what? It works for her. I'm not just going to sit here and criticise a European champion, four-time European champion. Um, so I'm just going to keep my mouth shut and carry on watching. <laughs> Lovadana then attempts to uh, clean and jerk 136 kilos, uh, but doesn't manage to lift that. So she settles with 130 kilos. This is the scoreboard here after the clean and jerk. So you can clearly see here, Laura Dana takes gold medal, Sarah Davies second and third, Anastasia Anzarova. So that means in the total, that would be the same three on the podium uh, in that order. Sarah Davies, phenomenal performance, just one kilo behind Laura Dana in the clean and jerk. It was a tough ask for Sarah to claw it back after the strong performance by Laura Dana in the snatch. Um, but I'm happy that she got the P equal PBs in the snatch and the clean and jerk. Comparing that to the 2020 World Cup last year as well in Rome, um, Sarah managed to snatch 96 kilos then, but managed 101 today. Um, and then on the clean and jerk, she only managed to get 121 kilos and obviously equal to PB with 129 today. So absolutely crazy jump from last year. When you look at Laura Darnatoma, very similar to the 2020 World Cup, if she managed to get the 137 kilo uh, European record. So in the World Cup last year, her first snatch was 100 kilos, jumped up to 105, and then a big jump up to 113. Um, all three lifts made, uh, which is pretty similar to uh, these results here, actually, in the European Championships. 101 kilos, 107, and 114. So pretty similar there. And then in the clean and jerk in the World Cup, she went 122, 130, 136. Uh, so that's pretty similar to this year as well. 123, 130, 137. But all in all, great competition. It was expected Loredana to get the gold medal. 
I'm so happy for Sarah Davies. Um, crazy, crazy performance by her. I'm sure she she'll remember this for the rest of her life. Uh, silver medal in the European Championships. Absolutely outrageous. With both of them being in my top three women athletes in Olympic weightlifting, it was honestly a joy to watch this competition. I'm so happy for the both of them. But I'll say again, that second jerk from Sarah, um, absolutely crazy. A true warrior there and definitely the best lift I've seen all competition and probably will do for the rest of the competition. So well done, Sarah. Like I was saying at the very start of this video, these championships couldn't have come at a better time for this channel. Um, so if you want to see more videos like this, if you want to see some analysis of competitions, obviously it's the Olympics this year as well. Um, so I'll be happy to do videos like this. So just let me know, you know, give it a like in the comments. Give me a subscribe if you like this channel or if you think anyone else will like it, then give it a share. Hope some of you that don't really understand competitive weightlifting gain some knowledge in it as well and gain some knowledge of who the top lifters are like Sarah and Laura Dana. But all in all, I think that pretty much covers everything in this particular competition in the women's 64 kilo class. There's still a lot more elite lifters to come in the competition, so I'll definitely make some videos on that and if there's any good rivalries as well. Um, so yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video guys, but remember to keep your ears peeled because there will be plenty more of these to come and I'll see you guys in the next one.